What are we doing, Mike? Bleeding brakes. Bleeding the brakes. Good times. Uh, rear right, lots and lots of air, obviously, with rebuilt calipers and an open system for a number of weeks. Also got into work today on replacing the clutch sleeve cylinder, and that hose, the heat shield, hardware. So all of that's a little better now. And all this hardware is obviously new, so it's really nice. Let's take a look at the stuff I pulled off. Yeah, this is an original 226,000 mile, but more so Ohio, 14 Ohio winter clutch line. The sleeve cylinder isn't terrible. Uh, the curly Q line's pretty rotten. That thing, I don't think that bleeder would play nice if you wanted to use it, but then look at this hose. Just dicked. And then obviously I cut the line here because I didn't want to fight with it. This is what was in the car and unsurprisingly, it's fine. These lines are okay, but you know, it feels good to have that gun. Here's the new heat shield from yesterday. This guy, and then the, uh, the little one bolts in here. And on my old one, these two holes were completely washed out and gone. So somebody just moved it back here and just drilled screws into the sheet metal. It's the end of Tuesday, so uh, the, the bleeder screws for the front calipers did show up, got those in, did two brake bleeds today, got a ton of bubbles out of everywhere, no surprises. Um, more to go. I'm going to have to pump the pedal a bit, maybe drive it around the complex here and push some bubbles around. Um, we got to activate the ABS pump and IMPA. It's going to be a lot of work. So the shifter's out. we got pieces over there on the seat. Uh, clutch slave cylinder is done. Replace the hard line over here is done. Finally, I can stop talking about that. That's been stressing me a little bit. I don't like doing that. Uh, shifter's over here, and just now, freaking 817, uh, we've got fresh bushings up here, a new shifter cup in there, same 545i shifter. I'm waiting on this guy. I'm waiting on the pin that goes on the transmission selector shaft uh, and a couple other various items. But today was just under body work. More heat shields done. The two you have to take off over here on the left side of the tunnel to get to the where the hard line goes into the chassis. I just replaced both of those with nice used uh, pieces that I had from dismantling cars here that weren't corroded at all. When aluminum corrodes, the holes just get washed out really badly and then the fasteners also fit through the hole. So that's no good. That's the size they're supposed to be. I had some almost twice that size. So it'll be nice to have all of that stuff fresh underneath the car. But as I said, lots more bleeding to do, some interior reassembly, and that's the ceiling over there. I just want to make sure everything's dry in the clutch. We bedded the clutch with the pressure bleeder, put 15 PSI in there, open the valve at the bottom, wait till the bubble stop. That seems to have worked really well. The clutch feels good. So I'm going to clean up and head home. Usual stuff. My back aches and I'm hungry, so it's time to get out of here. So I'll talk to you guys from home. 11.52, a quick wrap-up to Tuesday. Uh, I had leftover steak. We made mashed potatoes. Mike had some fish sticks. Um, and that was it. That's the end of today. So tons more work. They did a bunch of work on Dan Silverstone 01. I got uh, some work on that car done. We checked out a million parts today. Kind of that big order I did last week. I don't know if I told you. It was a $6,800 order. One of the largest we've done with 224 parts or something. Just crazy. Most of which fasteners. But... Huge order. Most of that, a lot of that, came in today. We're still waiting on some more stuff, hopefully tomorrow. Um, I'm just chomping at the bit to get my car back. It's been way too long. So I'm going to bed. We'll talk on hump day. Good night.